Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jermaine Jones, also known as Jay, and today I'm going to be talking about five tips for beginner cyclists. Number one, make sure you eat and drink before and during your ride. So I've made this mistake so many times, hitting the dreaded wall or bonking as we call it in cycling. So you really need to make sure that you're eating and drinking enough carbohydrates during the ride. Um, try to get enough into your system every 20 to 30 minutes, that's what's worked for me. So I've been using um, anything from apricots, bananas, um, gels, cereal bars, and even jelly sweets to um, just to keep sugar and carbohydrates in my body during the ride. And I usually take one bottle of water and one bottle of electrolytes, um, and then I just keep refilling that as I go on. Um, so a couple of times I've hit this bonking. Um, before my running days, I used to call it the wall, but in the cycling world, it's called bonking. And it's the worst feeling um, if you've ever hit this bonking episode before please write something below. Um, it just feels like your soul is just being removed from your body and all the energy is sapped out of your body. So you don't want to hit this stage. So if you can learn from my mistakes, that would be the best way. And really to stop that is just taking in enough nutrients throughout your, throughout your trip. Um, so yeah, like I said, what works for me is small bits of like apricots and like cereal bars and things like that, which really works for me. It might be something different for you, but it's it's all about trial and error, and that's what I've been doing over the last two months of cycling. Just really just trial and error, um, just to see what works for myself. Number two, buy your bike from a bike shop. Now, the best thing about buying your bike from a bike shop is that you have the experience of everyone that works there. You can also have your bike fit before you actually buy, buy the bike, so you know what bike's gonna work for you. And also the warranty and the servicing. Uh, I bought my bike from a bike shop and after two months I could go back and get everything fixed up, all the cables and stuff like that which come loose over time during the cycling. They'll fix it up for, for free for me. So yeah, it's just basically the experience in the shop, really knowing that you're buying it from a, an established, established shop rather than buying it from the internet and trying to put it together yourself. So yeah, buy it from a bike shop. Number three. Buy a good pair of gloves and glasses. Now for me in Australia, it's not too, it's not too cold during the winter, um, but there's always a heavy amount of sunlight. So for me, definitely a good pair of glasses. Just stops anything flying up from the, uh, from the, the road as well into your eyes and really protects you from the sunlight. And gloves, during the winter months when it does drop temperature, just keeping your hands nice and warm and also helps with the vibration from the or from your handlebars as well, just while you're just rolling around um, the area. Number four, carry spares. Now I cannot stress this enough. Inner tubes, tire levers, a pump, you need to carry this with you. Me and Ben, um, we had a puncture during a really rainy day and we tried to change a, a inner tube um, and we didn't have the right equipment with us at the time, which. We had to try and push the bike to a, a bike shop um, and get them to change it for us. So really, carry a good um, a good pump, just a small pump, inner tubes and tire levers, just so you can get that tire apart and just change it over. This is an essential. Uh, this is something that I carry with me all the time now. So definitely carry spares. Number five, clean your bike. Um, a clean bike is a fast bike. After every ride. Uh, I clean my bike, but you don't have to do that. I just, I definitely say after every rainy ride, when there's dirt flying up from the road, always clean your bike. Because if that gets into your gearing and stuff like that, it's just gonna ruin your bike. Um, it's gonna damage your cassette, your chain, everything. So always clean your bike. Um, buy a decent degreaser, brush, everything like that. Everything you need to clean, clean your bike. And if you've stayed to the end, number six. This is my little bonus tip. I would basically say you need to get Strava. Strava is one of the best tools that I'm using right now that I can see all my data, average speed, distance, uh, and there's really a great community in there as well. 
there's diff different goals on Strava, so you know, different challenges and stuff like that. You can push yourself through it. And you can meet with other people through Strava as well, which is great. So I would definitely say jump on Strava. There's a free trial, jump on Strava. Okay guys, thank you again for watching. Um, I apologize for being really nervous on these videos. It's my first time really doing it. So thank you for watching. Um, if you like the content, please subscribe. And if you want to see anything else throughout the videos, drop a comment below. Peace.